what? I was just pouring myself a glass of wine. You know why? Because we just got another box from an auction. So you wanna join me for an unboxing? Let's do it. This one is from the Lodge Auction House. And I'm pretty sure that I won this in a live auctioneer's auction. And it's coming to us from Buffalo, New York. So I'm super excited because I have family in Buffalo. And I can't wait to see what we got. Okay, so before we get into that big, huge box um, for the auction win, I do want to show you something that I did get this weekend. Or actually this week. Um... And this is this necklace here. This is a Juliana necklace. Isn't this beautiful? It is absolutely gorgeous. It is this topaz colored um, uh, large stone. And then the champagne color rhinestones set in the gold. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, and you can see the open back of the stones here. And that is, um, from what I understand, that's really what is the Juliana giveaway in this particular piece. So that is something that I just acquired in this last week. And then another piece that I got recently is this absolutely beautiful bib necklace. It is a Dwayne piece. And then it does have matching um, earrings that have the same kind of light blue with the copper foil cabochons. But isn't that just absolutely stunning? And this is made by Dwayne. And you can see that is marked Dwayne. And then on the necklace, there is a, a little hang tag. That says Dwayne. So I did just recently acquire these this week. So those are my two big finds for the week that are like one-offs from the auction. So let's get into the big auction win. Okay, all of these auction wins are actually wrapped in newspaper. So we're just gonna kind of like start shoving them off. The newspaper into the little work area. And I'll total for this auction, I spent, with shipping and all the fees and everything, $141. Um, so I really, I mean, it was a huge auction lot. Um, there's actually a couple auction lots I total that I won. And it was just very much random jewelry. Um, almost like a giant, giant jewelry jar of stuff. Um, so, uh, this is going to be really interesting. Um, and it's just it's like a never ending box of stuff. All this paper, I just don't want to like, I don't want to make sure like, I'm not going to miss anything. And this box is heavy. Very heavy. Oh, goodness. Wow, lots of lots of pearls. Lots of pearls. Holy cow. Um let's see here. One more. I think one more. Okay, I'm gonna do everything. Okay. All right. Okay, I think we got it all. Okay, let's see what we got going on. Hopefully some of this is good. We're just gonna have to start and keep going. All right, we go. Well, we're starting off with a pair of earrings that are marked, so that's a, that's a good sign. So I think I may have buried my loop in here somewhere. Hmm. I don't know what happened to my loop. I literally just had it. Well, these are, oh, Sarah Coventry. I can read that. So Sarah Coventry earrings. 
Not bad. Those are pretty. All right, so we got some Sarah Coventry. Um, little, uh, I guess that would be like what, an Aries or something medallion. Interesting. Oh, so we got like a cameo, but like a portrait cameo. It's actually kind of pretty. Um, pin back, no pendant. Very interesting in that one. Uh, no markings, it doesn't look like. Very cool though. And this is interesting. We've got a little like duck bracelet. It's on stretched out elastic. Um, oh, here we go. This is kind of cool. Handmade in Quebec, Canada. It's kind of cute. Probably very vintage. Maybe something to look and see if there's any value to the beads, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's set that aside. Um, oh, that's a pretty little brooch. A little flower. Um, no markings on that, but it is very pretty. Okay. Oh, we've got a little shell earring. Those are always good. And a little gold tone brooch, and this is marked Monet. Tangled mess over here. What's this? That's a pretty brooch. And I don't see a marking on this one, but that is very pretty. So we'll set that one aside. A little flower basket brooch. Also not marked, very cute. Okay, that is super adorable. And then here's the mate. Okay, those are really cute. And those are match set. It looks like they're pretty much all intact. Oh my God, those are so cute. These look like they could kill somebody, but I mean, honestly, how cute are those? I love those. Okay, set those aside. So we've got celluloid earrings, but one's missing a back. So I'll just set those in like a craft pile. And we got a little, uh, this is like a rose pin back's a little crappy, but it is kind of a cute little brooch. Um, yeah, it works, I think. Yeah, it's a cute little brooch. Could work. Um, oh my gosh, look at how cute those are. Somebody like these shell earrings, wow. Those are really cute. Let's see if we can find the mate to that one. All right, lots of pearls, holy cow. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is a cute bracelet. <gasps> How adorable. Is this anything? No marks on that, but oh my God, look how cute that bracelet is. Oh, wow. That is really cute. Wow, I really like this one. Clasp looks good. The enameling looks good. That is really, really, really cute. Wow, I like that. Super cute bracelet. And then cute little bow brooch. This is signed Monet as well. The 
this says Liz LC Liz. So I'm assuming this is Liz Claiborne. And this is a bracelet, I think. I'm assuming this is a bracelet. Yeah, maybe. I think this is a bracelet. I'm assuming this goes in here. Maybe. This goes like this. How cute is that? Like LC, Liz, LC. I'm assuming this can go maybe like that. Maybe that just goes in like that and it clicks. Just doesn't seem very secure. I don't know. I feel like maybe we're missing something with this, but that's really cute. I have to look this up because maybe this is missing something. It's really cute. Oh, this is cute. It's a little wine grape thing. Cheers, because I got my wine with me. Hmm. I like anything with Aurora Borealis beads. No markings. Cute, though. What's this? Ooh. This is nice. And heavy and I see a mark on the back. Oh, it's a swan. Oh, it's Swarovski. All right, we got a Swarovski piece right here. Beautiful Swarovski. All right. Awesome. Well, that makes me happy. We got a nice Swarovski bracelet here in great colors. This is gonna, that's a great find right there. All right. This is a cute little pin. No markings on this, but super cute little heart pin. And then this is no markings on that either, but that's very pretty. Oh, here's another one of those shell earrings. So cute. These are really sharp though. Gotta be careful with those. Well, here's another one of these earrings. How fun. I wonder if these were like made by an artist or something. I feel like these little shell things need to all be kept together. All right, these pearls are kind of wild. Let's see if I can clear these out. Oh, here we go. A little rope bracelet. Very classic, classy and classic. Um, no markings on this, I can see. Hmm, very cute though. It's a great like layering bracelet kind of, you know, want to wear a few, that's a good one. All right. What is 
this. Oh, look at that little pink cardinal. Oh, how cute. That's adorable. Ooh, this is a pretty little choker. So this is a choker. Let's see if I can maybe make this go up a little bit. So, so this is a choker. It is um, got a little bit of an extender, but it, it's a three strand pearl choker. Super pretty. And very nice quality. I mean, the beads are slightly heavy. Really nice. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. So this is, these are not pearl. This is some kind of stone, it appears to be. Let's look this up. Let's see. And then this is a barrel clasp. So this is going to kind of go like this. Hmm. Is this a tag? And it's a, oh, 1928. This is a pretty little 1928 bracelet. Or necklace. So, I know a lot of people like the 1928 stuff. Let's see. This is pretty. So, this is a just a simple little collar necklace. Any signatures on this or markings? No, does not appear to be, but this is a very pretty little necklace. Very cute. Oh, I think we've got another Swarovski bracelet. Hmm. Is it Swarovski or does it just look like Swarovski? What's this other one? Yeah, this other one is very different. So this other one has a heavier link to it. This is a little bit more pasty. Yeah. Yeah, this one I think is just like rhinestone. It's pretty though. And this almost looks like it's Brighton. Which it could be. This looks like an old glass pearl necklace. Ooh, very old. Yeah, look at this. So we got, these are old glass pearls, graduated, really pretty graduated, champagne pearl. But look at this clasp. Oh, look at this clasp. How pretty is that? And then, see if it works. Yeah. Yep, works great. Very nice. Yeah, I like that. Very pretty. All right. Oof. Okay. There's another like little celluloid earring. Like it might be missing 
Looks like it might have had a stone or something in the center. There's a white one like that too. Here's those little fish, but one's missing a back. Uh, what is this? So this is a necklace. This looks like it is like a replica of like a coin or something. Kind of weird. It doesn't open or anything. Hmm. Yeah. Different. Throw that over there. Let's see. What is this? Oh, this is another bracelet. That's kind of cool. This is copper. Little leaf bracelet. And let's see if the yeah should work. Yeah, that's super cute. I like that. Oh, here we go, we got another little, is this 1928 too? Yep, another little 1928 necklace. Very pretty. Very similar to the other one. Here's another one of these. Oh, that's what was supposed to be there. So it's got this little like metal cap, but that's, it's fallen out. Aha, uh -huh, that's all mystery solved there. All right. That's a cute little pin. Hmm. Take a sip of wine. All right, got another little leaf bracelet. That one's cute as well. Like that. Let's see. Big old pile of pearls. Up here's another one of these um, three strand. A little bit different, but three strand pearls. So three strand choker, very pretty. I like that little basket weave look on either side. Let's see. Very pretty. to say this at the beginning of my videos but if you do like my videos do me a favor I'd love it if you would subscribe it really does make my day when I you know see people subscribing to my videos and liking my videos you have no idea how much that makes me happy <laughs> so if you like my videos do me a favor and just you know throw a little subscription in there or throw me a like likes really make me happy comments make me happy i love to know like what you think of the jewelry and what you guys are thinking about my videos and if you guys have suggestions i would love to see suggestions too oh these are super cute these are like little christmas trees no um oops no no signatures on this but super cute little christmas trees i was thinking about doing a a segment like a little segment in my, I guess, my YouTube channel called Reseller's Wine Time. I would love to hear some thoughts about that. You know, just where, like, we talk a little bit about, like, common issues with reselling and, you know, thoughts and, you know, I don't know, that kind of thing. Like, just about, like, what's going on in the reselling world and issues and how to handle them and that kind of thing and 
you know, I've been selling online for so long and been on eBay since basically when it started. I mean, God, it dates me, but Lord, I mean, I've been doing eBay since 98, no, 97. And I mean, back when I had a little digital camera with floppy disks and I'd have to like pop those into my computer and then I'd have to like, I'd sell things, I'd wait for somebody's check to come in and then I'd have to wait for it to clear and then I'd ship it out. Oh my God, those were the days. And I remember nobody wanted to switch to PayPal because they were so scared because it was like an online thing and it might not be safe. Huh. And now it's like, now things are like going into the bank, transferred right into your, into the bank. And now people like don't want that anymore. It's just like so funny how things have come full, full circle. This is a pretty little brooch. It's like a little horseshoe almost. Uh, no signature on this little guy. Oh wait, no, there is, there is, there is. Hold on. This is a listener. Wow, that's a really different kind of listener pin. It's really pretty. That's a listener. Maybe it's worth something. But yeah, I've been, I mean, I've been doing this for so long. In the reselling game for so long. It might be kind of fun to do like a reseller's wine time. Because, you know, I like my wine. And it'd be kind of fun be kind of fun to do something different, you know, do a little segment other than just like jewelry unboxing or, you know, haul videos or whatever. It's kind of cute. I like this little heart, kind of a cute heart. I don't think this is the original chain that was on, but it's still a cute little heart pendant. Boy, I keep on seeing these wishbones lately. I just got another jewelry Thing, like a jewelry haul, I guess. And there's like four little horseshoes. And then, um, I mean, granted, it's different than a wishbone, but like four horseshoes. And then now it's like a wishbone. So I did a thing, you guys. I quit my full time job. And I'm going to be doing reselling now full time. So that is going to be super exciting for me. Super happy. So. Wish me luck with that. This is a very cute little pin. I'm going to call this a pin and not a brooch because it's very tiny. I almost want to say this is, whoops. This is um, signed. I can't find my, my I gotta, I gotta look this one up because this, I think this is signed and I just need my, here it is. I need to see, cause this looks like it's something. It looks very, very different. It's got that little dingle thing on there. Very ornate with the glass, but there's something on the back and it just looks very different. Keep on going. So this, that one brooch, um, I just had, my fingers on here. This is Coro, actually. So this is Coro. That's what it says. So pretty. Um, and that's the only mark I can see on it. There's no fineness stamp that I can see. It's just that it says that it's Coro. So super unique. Um, okay. Looks like we've got another 1928 necklace. So it's really pretty. Again, same colorway. All right. Hmm. I'm not sure how I, how I go about this. Okay. So these are plastic, um, but they're at, well, they're faceted though, um, with a box clasp. So I would say these are probably circa the 50s, 60s, although that clasp looks new. I don't even know. Maybe it's like a 
90s does whatever. I don't really know about those. Maybe, maybe not on those. All right, what do we have here? This says Antiquities. Oh, it's another 1928. Um, so it must be, Antiquities must be the store it came from. Just looks like pearls. Um, nice long pearl necklace from 1928. So, cute. Um, same with this one, also 1928. Boy, if anybody needs any 1928 pearls, hit me up. Let me know. So this, ooh, a multi-strand pearl. Ooh, this is nice. So this is a multi-strand pearl necklace. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six strands. This looks like this would be one that you would twist up a little bit and then just hook. And then it would be like that. Really nice necklace. Super pretty. So that's a good one. Looks like I got another multi-strand. So also this these these are graduated. So let's see. Hmm. Sometimes with these graduated necklaces, it's like I hate trying to figure out like getting them to go the way they need to go. But sometimes with these like multiple strands and everything, it's like kind of a pain to Get things to lay the way they need to lay. Oh, I think I got it. I think, oh, and then you drop one, one side or the other. Oh, I think I got it. Maybe, oh, oh, come on. I don't want to drop anything. There we go. All right, so this will be really pretty. It's like these are big, chunky pearls, four strands. And a little bit of an iridescence to them. Really pretty. Just a great, great, great necklace. All right. Okay, here we go. Here is another, these are truly vintage, not not just like a wannabe vintage. These are truly vintage. Let's see here. All right, so then here is, they're almost like a blush, champagne-y kind of color triple strand with an extender and pretty it's a pretty class but nothing to really write home about and then this is a nice heavier pearl necklace and this is L L C I. So I'm not sure what that stands for. Is that Liz Claiborne? I don't know. There we go. Single strand of pearls. I like the clasp on this. Really elegant, very pretty. Okay, so for these, this is another multi-strand. Oh, very much like that first, or that one of those initial sets. Um, all right. This is one of those ones that's 
kind of hard to clasp. So we got multi-strand, very pretty. All right. Okay, so this is like kind of like a peachy color pearl. Um, old, slightly iridescent, very old though. The reason I say that is because of the clasp. <laughs> well, you get the idea. So, very pretty. Oh, uh, what is this? This is a, oh, a nine West bracelet with the little rhinestones. Very cute. we got here up oh, here's another bracelet yeah and then this one is boy I've seen this style before and I should know it but very oh here we go it's got the little rhinestones and then this clasp goes like that I feel like it's missing a rhinestone here um Not seeing a a swan or anything to make me think that it's um Swarovski. Hmm. Oh, oh. Oop. And what is next? We have here. Almost to the end here. Yeah, so don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think about reseller wine time. Let me know if you think it's a good idea, if it's a crappy idea, if you think it's just like been done before. I don't know. You know, I've been selling for so long. Maybe I've got some pearls of wisdom. I don't know. I've done so many different niches. I mean, I'm incredibly ADD. Mm. Come on. Oh, like, I hate when there's tags. Because I don't want to take the tags off, right? You know? So, like... I should show you what I'm doing. So, there is this tag on this necklace. But it really belongs to a different necklace, I think. Part of me just feels like I should just rip this right off of here. Hmm. Oh, god dang it. If I do that. Will that come loose? Nope. Nope. Well, I have to do it. There we go. Oh my god, it's like a fixed big time. Hmm. Oh boy, I hate tangles. Okay, all right, here's this one. This is a double strand, um, but this can be worn, I guess, as a choker too, or I guess you could wear it multiple different ways, but this is, uh, this go. Hmm. Yes, this is just 
go like that. I feel like it should be more to this. It meets the eye. Maybe this is all that it is. So you could wear it, you know, with your with this portion up on the collar or how however. It's really pretty. But yeah. Ooh, God, I keep on knocking the phone. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna think that I am the worst videographer in the world. Holy cow. Is this Trafari? I will die if this is Trafari. The reason I say that is because I just did a video and I had a Trafari sand dollar necklace. And if this is Trafari again, and I just sold it. But I am not seeing any markings on this. Can't believe there's no markings. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. No markings. But it's a really pretty sand dollar. Maybe it's a real one. And it's just electroplated. Very pretty. All right, next one I have, I have this one. It is a double strand and it has, has these little spacers or has these little beads in between some of the big sellers. Um, I'd say, um, that's like a, almost like a pale, 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 pale pink, super pale, really pretty. And then this is... Hmm. Okay, there we go. All right. And that's just a really, I don't know, kind of boring Omega. And this is kind of pretty. I don't know. Oh, there's a mark on this one. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see what this one says. Oh my goodness, hello. Oh, this one's a Napier. So that's good. So Napier on this, these pearls. So not, not bad on that one, I'll take that. This is a little wired pearl necklace. I don't know about that one. This is, so that's a big ol' That match those earrings at the beginning? It does. This matches the earrings from here. So we have a whole big Sarah Coventry set. That's kind of cool. All right. All right. And then this is a pretty little set. So this or set, this is a pretty little necklace. So this is um, pearl with some gold beads and no signatures at all on here. But if you're interested in this one, yeah, I definitely have, like, if you like pearls, you definitely need to hit me up. I definitely have pearls. 
Um, we got some glasses, a glasses uh, holder. Very cute. Um, but yeah, I'd love to know what your thoughts are about this box. Um, here's another Monet. This one's really pretty. And this is also very pretty. And this is unmarked. Yep. It looks like this is unmarked, which is too bad because it is really pretty. But I mean, I don't necessarily mind unmarked pieces, but oops. Um, well, these are cute little like scatter pins, little birds. little flower and this says this is this a Jerry's yep this is a Jerry's cheese and pea Jerry's pin and then just a couple more pieces So we've got this little, great little um, three-strander. And then I have this piece that is just a simple little wire and pearl necklace. And then this white pearl bracelet. All right, there's that. And there's this particular one, which is just gold. And is that stone, right stone? Yeah, it's missing a stone though, so that'll go and craft. And another one of these. Another one of those. Another pid. And oh, another little scatter pin. These are super cute. And I think that's everything. Oh, here's another one of these little. Here's another one of these. But that's it. That's for the big box of jewelry. That's $142 worth of jewelry. So what do you think? Did I get a good deal? Did I not? Will I be able to make my money back? I don't know. I'd love to know your thoughts. And what are your thoughts about some of my thoughts during this video? Um, and please, if you like, if you like what I had had today, let me know. Feel free to hit that subscribe so I can keep uh, uh, being encouraged to do what I'm doing today. And uh, I hope uh, I hope I'll see you on my next one. Thanks, you guys. Bye.